Hey guys, um, this is Valerie from Hale Family Halls. Um, let me adjust this just a little bit. Eventually we will get better recording equipment, but for now I have to make do with what we have. So I wanted to start doing videos on bench shopping. So there's a couple places that I go to. Um, one of them is about a 35 minute drive. Um, the other one is about an hour. I do have a local one. It's not the best. Um, it's about a 10 to 15 minute drive. There's another one I want to try. It's about two hours away, but I haven't went there yet. But the, the main one I go to is about a 35 minute drive. So how it works is they restock on Fridays at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So sorry if I'm not looking at the, it looks like I'm looking up. I'm looking at the video and not the lens. But, um, so they restock on Fridays, um, 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. That's when you get the best items. Fridays is $8. So, you know, you, I've gotten robot vacuums. I've gotten Apple AirPods. It just, all kinds of stuff. And then they also restock on Saturdays at 10 a.m. And then, so Saturday goes down to $7.00. Sundays I think it's five dollars and it gets a little bit cheaper you know then Wednesday's a dollar Thursday's bag day so you get to fill a bag for twelve dollars if they don't have enough stuff then it's 25 cents an item so and then they restock again on Friday um, prices vary a little bit between different bin shops it just depends on which one you go to so the one I go to that's about an hour away for example um, is a little bit more expensive, so their restock days sometimes are $10. They did a Black Friday sale where their restock day was $7. Um, the one that's local is mostly all the time it's either $7 or $5 because they're new, just kind of getting started. Um, so yeah, so yesterday I spent $28 and some odd cents, so let's just say $29, and I put $20 in gas. I factor my gas in since I, I drive so far away, otherwise it don't make sense. So $28, $20, let's just say $50 total, um, and I think I did pretty good. I had one item that was a dud. I probably could have fixed it, but I spent a dollar on it, so it re wasn't really worth my time. Um, I've already sold some items and I'll get into that a little bit later, but I wanted to show you guys what I got and, you know, if you guys like this video, I know we don't have a lot of subscribers at the moment, we're still pretty new, but I'm hoping we can grow and, and get bigger. So if you guys like the video, subscribe, like the video, um, you know, I would really appreciate it. These are going to be done by me. The Ben videos will be done by me. And I'll get a better setup and better equipment eventually. But um, the palette videos are mostly done by my husband. And then you can hear me kind of talking behind the camera. But he's the one that pretty much does those. So these are me. So the first item I wanted to show you guys. I got ten of these. Um, these are Flash. The Flash backpacks. Um, they're really nice quality. I, it's hard to describe, but you know you can tell if something's made cheaply or made nicely. These are really nice. Um, they have the two little mesh pockets on the side, zipper pocket in the front, adjustable straps. I looked these up and these retail for $31. So a $31 book bag and I got these all for a dollar each. Um, I got 10 of them, like I said. Pretty nice on the inside as well. So you got your little pocket here, um, and an, another big pocket down in there. So pretty nice, um, like I said, for one dollar, um, even if some of them don't sell until, you know, close to back to school time. Um, I have them listed for $10 each. I've already sold one. So I made my money back on all of those off of just one. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. And like I said, 
I got 10 of those. So there's all of those. So that right there is already $100 potential. And I already made the $10 investment back off of those. The next item I want to show, I got two packs of these. So these, and if you guys hear anything in the background, it's my my washer. I apologize. Um, we do have a building. I'm going to set up a recording area out there, but for now, this is what I have to work with. So anyways, this is a 12 pack of the Net Gators. There's two of each color, so you have a dark blue, black, gray, purple, white, and there's two of each. Um, I opened one pack because it sold to a family member and I wanted to show them so I can kind of show you guys a little bit better. But you get two white ones and they're all individually wrapped. Two white ones, two blue, like a navy blue. Two gray, two purple, two black, and then these are a dark blue. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but these retail for $14, and I sold them for seven, and I've got two. So I already sold one for $7, so that's a $6 profit right there. Made my money back on both of them off of one purchase. Um, a lot of people kind of get aggravated when when they find out what you paid for something versus what you're charging. Let me start off by saying people don't understand. So not only do I have time invested in going to find these items, a lot of times I stand in line for hours before they, they even open the doors. So the bin shops, if you're not aware, are very popular. Um, people stand in line for two to three hours. Sometimes they camp out all night, depending on how popular the store is. The one that's two hours away, people go there the night before and literally camp out. They let you set a chair up and wait in your car. So, and people like have cookouts in the parking lot and stuff. So, you know, you have time invested in driving your gas, the time invested in digging through the bins, trying to find those good deals. You know, time invested, waiting in line, coming home, researching everything, posting everything, and then meeting people. It's a lot of work. So yeah, I might have paid a dollar for this, and the fact that I'm getting seven dollars and making six dollars, that's really not that much. Now, when you add everything together, if I get, if I sell everything and I get everything sold that I've asked for the price that I've asked. On this haul alone, I can make about $130 profit, which I don't think is very bad for spending $50 total gas and items combined. But some people, they just don't understand that. That's how retail works, no matter if it's a small business or a store. If you think Walmart paid what you're paying for the item, no, they didn't. So a lot of people really need to you know think about all that um the next item I got this is pretty cool and I did test all of these already now from now on if I have time I'm going to try to do these videos the day that I that because I, I got all this stuff yesterday so I'll try to do the videos the day that I get everything and that way we can open everything and test everything live together I think would be really cool um, but I did test everything. Like I said, I had one item that was a bust. But I think it would be fun to test everything together. So that's what the plan is. Um, but I'll show you guys. I will plug it up right here. So this is what it is. I guess I could show you the box. It's a fan for your car. So... If you don't want to use your AC or if your AC don't work, these are a cheap option. Plug it up here. So, it does light up, which I thought was really neat. And it has a couple settings. 
and as you can see it works it feels really nice really really cool air but yeah so this retails for about 15 16 dollars i've got it listed for seven i dropped a piece one moment but yeah it works um nothing wrong with it and that's another thing with bin shopping so it's like a gamble <laughs> They don't let you open up boxes. Some of them do have testing sites, but none of mine allow you to test anything. So you're buying item as is. If it don't work, oh well, you took that gamble. Um, you, you can't return it. So it is a little bit of a gamble. I've had a lot of success. I would say 75, 80% of the items I buy work maybe even a little bit higher. I've really only gotten a few big things that didn't work. Um, so nothing too crazy. Like I said, most, most of the stuff I get has worked. Um, dropping stuff. This next item, and also, so see a lot of times too, it's box damage or the boxes are dirty. Um, and so they don't want to send that to a customer. Like if they're selling these on Amazon or whatever, they're not going to want to send a dirty or damaged box. So those items get pulled sometimes and liquidated. But my daughter does a lot of digital art and she uses Procreate. So I saw this. I almost didn't get it because I didn't realize it was a Procreate thing. Um, I just thought it was like a little gimmicky keyboard which I guess it is but um it's pretty neat so it's got shortcuts for when you're using procreate um she's gonna try it and if she likes it this is for her because she just got a brand new iPad one of the new ones for Christmas yes she did get it early but um these things retail for it's like $38, so like $40 some dollars after tax. And I paid a dollar for it for this, guys. I paid a dollar for it. If you don't know about bin shops, get on Facebook and type in bin shops near me or Amazon bin shops near me. Um, a lot of people don't know about them. And, you know, but here it is lit up. And this is Bluetooth, so as you can see, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll figure this out eventually. But it is Bluetooth, so you charge it, and then it just connects wirelessly to your tablet. Or maybe computer, I, I think Procreate's just on phones and tablets, I'm not really sure. But, so she's going to try this, if she likes it then it's for her. If she doesn't like it, then I'll probably list it for 20 bucks, and somebody else can enjoy that for a discount. Um, but I thought that was a really, really cool item, and I'm glad that I noticed that it was a Procreate item, because like I said, she... she does that, and she's really good. So the next items that I got, um are some fitted sheets. Again, I paid $1 for these because I went on dollar day, obviously, um, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. Um, I usually go on restock day, dollar day sometimes, and bag day. So those are the days I like to go. But these retail for $7 each. I'm selling them for $7 together. This one is pretty much brand new looking. This one, as you can see, well, I mean, they both need washed, but this one has a couple little spots on it. Nothing crazy. Um, but, so that's a $14 retail value. Again, some packaging damage, but they're brand new. Just where they've been in a pallet or warehouse. They've gotten a little bit dirty, so $7 for both of them. Um, next item, I already sold one of these because I got one of these before. I think I got on bag day, so I paid less for it on bag day, 
but it's a 40 count pack of happy birthday bracelets and they're like tie dye so you can kind of see and these retail for 10 to 12 dollars again you get 40 so you could use these across multiple birthdays or send them to your to the school with your kids to pass out to all their friends on their birthday um the other one i listed sold really fast like i said they retail for nine to well $9.99 so $10 to $12 and I'm selling them for five so that's $4 profit on each of these and I think I got five packs so yeah five packs of these they're all brand new so really neat item there I didn't look the price up on this. This is just going to be a little stocking stuffer for one of my kids, probably my son. I know these, you can get these for about a dollar at Dollar Tree. This is a two pack, so I probably didn't save a whole lot on this one, but it doesn't matter because it's just going in my son's stocking. But it's a two pack, so it's like a blue and yellow tie dye, and then I think a solid gray one. I might even take them out and put one in my one son and one in the other son stocking who knows but that's probably just a little christmas item so i don't really count that in my potential what i can make um next item again has some box damage but the item's brand new i almost didn't get this because i'm thinking selfie stick whatever <laughs> but this one i didn't realize is actually a really nice one so you can use this one with a phone or a GoPro um, probably even a camera but so it's the telescoping obviously so you can hook your GoPro up here or you can put the phone attachment up here and it's got um, so this kind of sits down in there and then you can screw the phone attachment on it's got this attachment so it's like a little lanyard and it also you can use it as a tripod which I could have honestly used it for this video instead of my broken ring cam but yeah so it's got a little tripod base as well these retail for like $20 um, I've got $10 on it if it doesn't sell the lowest I would go on this would be five, which I think is a crazy deal. But even at ten dollars, it's a really good deal for people who record or you know use their GoPros or whatever. But yeah, it's brand new. Nothing wrong with it. So that was really cool. Um. Oh, okay. I only got three more items. So this is sold. I'm going to put that note away. This sold as soon as I posted it. So let me take them out. This is a 60 count. Kind of like those happy birthday bracelets. Um, so we got orange. And these ones say Jesus loves you and then faith. So these are the religious bracelets. I think they all say the same thing so we have orange we have yellow it's kind of hard to see but it's like an indention in there Jesus loves you so yeah, we have dark green like a lime green And this one says Jesus is my rock and then saved and it's purple this one says the same thing Jesus is my rock and it's blue like a dark blue we have a light blue that says Jesus loves you another dark blue that says Jesus is my rock we have a dark pink Jesus is my rock a light pink that says Jesus loves you and I think this is like a dark orange or red I, I, it's probably supposed to be red and this one says Jesus is my rock and saved so 
on one of the groups that I sell on, there's some people in there who buy for the local church and they snag this up like instantly. So you get 60 bracelets. These retail for $14. I've already sold these for $7. So we meet in that group, we meet once a week at a local stadium. It's like a, it's almost like a little pop-up flea market. There's hundreds of people sometimes there. It's really neat. So that's for that meetup. And like I said, it sold as soon as I posted it, which I kind of figured it would um, because the people that buy for the church on there. So I've already made, so let's see, 10, 17, 24 about $39 and I have a couple other items potentially sold so pending once I hit 50 because like I said I spent 29 and then 20 in gas so roughly $50 um, then I count it as profit because I do count my gas Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense. So the next item, again, this is sold. I don't want to show her name. Again, the box was damaged. I almost didn't grab these. There were several of these, <laughs> but I'm glad I did. So these were my big hit items. So these are the little personal air coolers. And I will show it in just a moment. I gotta get the cord out. This one is sold. Um, this one retails for $30. I already have it sold for $15. I try to do 50% on most items. Sometimes a little bit more off if, you know, possible. But... So yeah, so it's hard to see if I can stretch the cord out a little bit more. So it's got a nightlight, as you can see, like a blue LED nightlight. The top, it's got your buttons for your light and your fan speed and your power button. Um, this chamber here, you also can put ice and water, ice cold water, and then right here, you can you know, open and close your vent, filter inside, brand new, still sealed, so that was a really cool find, I paid one dollar for this, it's already sold for fifteen dollars, um, these are the items I like to find, and these are the ones that are a little bit more risky, because, like I said, you never know if the item's gonna work or not. This one works. And somebody got this for $15 instead of $30. So that's really cool. And I enjoy being able to help people. It's not just about the money. Um, like those people with the church that are getting those bracelets, they're so excited. And that truly makes me happy. Um, we have a group on Facebook as well and it's just starting to grow on Facebook where Hales resales. And, you know, it, it just makes me happy because we live in an area where it's a lot of low, low income households. And to be able to help people, especially right now, um, it almost brings you to tears, really. Like, I truly love doing this. And I'm really hopeful that I can turn this into a full-time business and income for my family because I don't actually work. Um, I've got some health problems and my kids have some health problems, which maybe I'll make a video on all that later at some point. But, you know, the big thing with me is I have a really bad knee and a really bad back and I can't stand for long periods of time. I can't do a lot of heavy lifting. So... 
this is what I do to try and help out and we're starting to grow and starting to get noticed and people are really enjoying saving money with us and that's what it's about I mean yes I want to make money of course I want to make money but I also really enjoy doing this to help other people as well so um, this was the item also by the way that I, I got a dud on so I bought two of these the other one I probably could have fixed everything looked brand new but the filter was molded it, it wasn't used the bottom part of the filter was perfectly brand new but the top of the filter had some mold on it so I just threw that away it wasn't worth my time I would have had to order the filters and who knows how much the filters are um, so I just it's a dollar if I would have paid seven dollars for it maybe I would have looked into that and just kept it for myself but at the end of the day you win some you lose some that's just part of the game when you bin shop or buy pallets that's just something you have to know going into it that might happen so this next one is my my big big winner and I'm so excited so again it's the same kind of thing it's one of the little mini air filters and so this one has the LED light it changes colors I need to stay in frame um, you can have it change colors or I think you can have it stay on a solid color like right now I think it's staying on green and then you can turn it off blue let's see if we get it on pink if I click it if it'll stay on pink so yeah if you get it on the color that you want and you click the button it'll stay on that color and we go from blue try to yeah so like a blue to pink red orange yellow green Kind of, I know it's hard to see on the video, but but yeah. So and here's the different speeds. To show you guys that. Yeah. So see, it's it's definitely blowing the air. I need a piece of paper or something. It's yeah, so see? And it, these you can put, so see at the top. Let's get everything turned off. So at the top, there's a chamber here, and you put, you can put water and ice in here. And that'll make it blow even colder air. But even without that, it blows pretty cool air. So you're not going to believe the retail value on this one. Um, this one retails for $56. I have it listed for $25. So I have somebody, a couple people actually potentially interested in this one. So I'm sure, excuse me, I'm sure this one will sell no problem. Um... But yeah, so that was everything I got in this haul. Um, like, a couple of them I had multiple items, so it doesn't seem like I got a lot. But I got like 20-some items. Um, so, um, on, the, on the bag day, I get a lot more. Because it's these big, they're probably every bit, I know it's not showing in frame, but they're huge, big blue bags. And they're made out of like a tarp material and they're just huge and you are allowed to stuff them as full as you want because they want to get that stuff out of there so that they can restock the next day and I do so that'll be a fun video it'll be a longer video I personally like watching long videos on YouTube um, a lot of creators kind of get worried about that and they want to keep their videos short me personally I like to sit down and watch videos longer video the longer the video the better so some of our videos are long I'm not really good at editing yet if you have any recommendations on some software 
I I can use all the help I can get. So I'm um, right now we're just doing live videos on like I made like a little fake Facebook group just to do these live videos so that I can save them to my computer and then upload them that way so I don't have to really edit a bunch of little videos together because my phone doesn't hold a lot of space. So this is the best way I found until we can get some better equipment. But if anybody has any recommendations on that part of it, please let me know. Also at this place that I go, they have mystery jewelry bags and sometimes boxes. The boxes are huge. Um, the bags are probably yay big and they're $19. Um, I've got a couple of those. I might do mystery jewelry unboxings on here too. Um, but yeah, so between the palettes, bin shopping, and the jewelry, um, that's kind of what we'll have going on for right now. But let me know if you guys like this kind of video. Um, if I go, I don't think I'm going today. It's already 9.26 in the morning. So I don't think I'm going to go today. Today is bag day. I might go today. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to do. Um, so I might go today. I'm doing a live jewelry auction later this evening. Um, so if anybody wants to check out our Facebook group, like I said, it's Hales Resales. The bigger items, we it is more for just local people. Um, but the jewelry I can ship. You can build a box and, you know, we can ship. If it's smaller items, like stuff I get on bag day or whatever, I can build a box and we can do the flat rate shipping. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check that out, it's Hales Resales. The logo looks very similar to the logo here. Um, on Hale Family Halls. So if you guys want to check that out, that'd be really cool. Um, no pressure. You don't have to. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. If I do go to bag day today, you might see me in another video wearing the same outfit. So keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Any tips, tricks, anything you want to say down below, I would really appreciate it. Um, please be kind. I know I have rosacea. Um, I've tried everything for that as well and nothing works. So please be kind. Um, we're just trying to get our name out there and, and build this up and try to help people. So any hateful comments will be deleted and they will not be responded to. But yeah, leave us some likes and, and subscribe and and say hello, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.